Hey and welcome. I'm Thomas. I'm Solutions Engineer from Okta. Today I would like to show you how you can securely access servers, so uh, via SSH or RDP, so Windows and Linux servers, uh, via our advanced server access. So you have one identity uh, which is stored in Okta um, and with this identity you can also access servers, you can access apps um, and so on, but today the focus is on accessing servers, Windows and Linux. So how can that look? To the sign-in page and log in as Julie here. And I will provide my fingerprint to log in as a multi-factor. And you see I'm logged in. If I scroll down a little bit, you will see here are two servers. Um, one is an Ubuntu server and one is a Windows server. So I can even provide the users to access the servers in the dashboard. It's just an example. So I will show you shortly how you can access servers via the command prompt or via RDP connection managers, but that's also a solution. So you can provide um, users uh, with access to servers um, directly here in the Okta dashboard. So let's see, I want to access the Windows server. I will just click here on the Windows server and basically it will prompt me again for my multi-factor. Of course, I could cancel out of here and say, oh, I don't have my fingerprint at hand and I want to use um, a security key. I want to use my, my SMS authentication. I want to use OctaVerify. So we stick now here with the fingerprint. I will go ahead and use my finger here again. And um, you will see I will be logged into advanced server access. I will just go ahead and approve this request. And as you can see, my remote desktop connection manager is just opening and I'm immediately logged in as Julie and I can do my work, whatever I have to do. And after I'm finished, I'll just go ahead and uh, sign out of here. Okay, so we can also access servers, of course, via the command prompt. I already have a command prompt open. And at first I want to check out to which servers I have access to. So that's working by SFT list dash servers. And it's opening a browser window. And of course I have to sign in because I killed the session before. And so that's just straight ahead uh, my password and of course my multi-factor. And then I'm signed in, I've just approved the request again, and if I go back to the command prompt window, I see, okay, I have access to two servers, the Windows one we've seen before, and also an Ubuntu server. If I just want to connect to the server then, I can just go ahead and say SFT, SSH in this case, and then the name of the server, I click on return, and I'm logged in. So that's as easy as it goes. Of course, just cancel the session here. And uh, if I want to also connect to the Windows server via uh, the command prompt, it also is working via SFT, RDP, and then the Windows server. So that's basically the same what we've seen before um, with the chiclet and the dashboard. So you don't have to leave your terminal. You don't have to log into the, um, to the Okta dashboard. So not, not a problem at all. Um, it works both ways. I just sign out of here again. If you're using um, a remote desktop connection manager, like in my case on macOS Royal TSX, um, you can also import here a folder. Um, you can see it uh, right in here, ASA, and this folder is automatically um, then uh, gathering the servers you have access to. So you can see in here, um, I have the two two servers available, the Azure Ubuntu and the Windows server, and I could immediately also start uh, the session here. And I'm basically also logged in. So these are a few ways where, how you can access uh, the servers and why don't I get prompted for multi-factor here? Because I have an active session. So that's why um, I don't get being prompted uh, every time on it. I can, of course, configure everything. Um, but in my case, I said, okay, there's an active session and I don't want to be reprompted every time um, when I have an active session. Okay, how does that all work? Um, that's, of course, a good question. I can provide you with some more information on that. Um, so we have, of course, 
extensive guides on it and also blog posts and basically where you can see the flow. Um, here's a client in the middle. Basically, user person are requesting a session. Okta um, is doing the authentication and authorization step and is issuing credentials. And then the connection is taking place via SSH um, or RDP. And of course, uh, we can also um, write an audit event uh, on the server or in our logs. Um, and why is it so secure? If we scroll down a little bit more, um, so we don't use any static keys and no passwords uh, with the service because we do create a certificate on every time you log in. So that's a single use certificate, uh, which is um, expiring very quickly. So um, that's a single point in time um, certificate where you're logging in. And then of course, that's minimizing the window for an attack. And as you can see, it's seamless. It's very easy. So you just remember your username and your password. It can be your active uh, Actory username and the password, and then you're signing into window, to Windows and Linux servers. Yeah, so if you have any more questions, just feel free to ask your questions now. Feel free to contact us, um, have a look at our website. We can do also a custom demo for you. Um, just feel free to contact us and we will gladly help you out. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.